If you've been wondering why I haven't made a video in about a month, well, stay tuned and I'll tell you why. Hey guys, Graham here. Um, yeah, like I say, I haven't made a video in over a month for this channel, which I'm very sorry about, but uh, I'll be making some more. Um, I've been kind of just getting some things sorted. Um, I've got this new camera, uh, I've been doing like mini Lego and all that sort of stuff. As you can probably tell if you're subscribed and you see my previous videos, then uh, it's a bit different now. Uh, but yeah, I've been doing some new flash in a new style and uh, I've been kind of uh, changing things up a bit. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of get a bit of practice with uh, the new stuff I'm using. Because um, you know all my videos so far have been with Copics and you know marker pens, so I've been yeah changing it up a little bit. And what I've been doing now is I've been using a dip pen, which is a fountain pen. You just literally get some ink, dip it in, and uh, draw with it. And um, I've been just shading, doing straight black, um, like spit shading out, uh, which a few of you have wanted to see previously. So I decided to do some of that. Um, I'll give you a quick preview of the flash I've been doing. So this is one of the sheets. So it's pretty much some kind of hawk thing. Um, I've got, it's all, it's all done like, like I say, in, in black. It's, all my new stuff's gonna be black and gray. I just wanted to do like a series of black and gray stuff. I will be doing more color stuff in the future, but for now, the next few videos will be all black and gray. Like I say, um, it's all done with a pen, um, and uh, well, a dip pen, and it's all, it's all done with one pot of ink. It's Dalarani FW Acrylic Artist Ink. Um, just comes in a little bottle like that. I'll put a link in the description so you can pick some of that up if you want to get it in advance ready to follow along with the tutorials to do something kind of like this. And um, yeah, it's like I say, it's all done with that one pot of ink. The wash in the background um, I put on now before rather than after doing it. Um, that's done just with a big brush, you know, really watered down just to give it, give the paper a bit of a tone rather than it just being blank white. Um, then I did the line work with straight uh, straight ink and then I did all the shading with straight ink as well and then shaded it out um, with a bit of water. Spit shading is traditionally done with spit but um, I did it with water because I didn't want to keep putting an inky brush in my mouth. Like I know people do it and it's probably perfectly safe but um, I'm still haunted by childhood stories of ink being made out of beetles blood. So that kind of puts me off. Um, I'm not sure if that's true, I think it might have been. Um, but I doubt they'd make it out of beetles blood now. They'd have to crush a hell of a lot of beetles to make the amount of ink that they would need to. So that's what I've been doing, that's why I haven't made a video. I've got a bit of practice now. Um, I've sorted out my technique, how I do it. Um, I'm sure I'll develop it more. Uh, I, I, have, I have painted with inks before and I've done like watercolour painting before but I just wanted to kind of get back into it because everything I've done for the past year has been with, with pens. So, um, you know, I just needed to get a bit of practice to get back into it again. On another note, um, I'm almost at 4,000 subscribers now and it's been probably almost a year since I started this channel. So that is awesome, I'm really happy about that. I didn't expect to get up to this number of subscribers in a year. Um, it's kind of like a niche sort of thing, you know, like tattoo style paintings, especially old school, you know, it's like a you know, real sort of niche that I'm, that I'm making videos for. But um, people have been applying it to uh, different uh, styles and um, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's amazing the response I've had from it. I, I, you know, thank each and every one of you that's subscribed to my channel and you can just even watch the video, especially if you've liked and commented. You know, the response I've got is amazing. And, you know, I always try, I reply to all messages, all comments I get. Um, even now, um, I'm gonna keep trying to reply to every single one of you, no matter what. Um, Cause I, you know, I made this channel to help people out and help them with their artwork and, you know, reply to their questions, help them get apprenticeships. So that's the main reason I started the channel. And, yeah, hopefully I've done that. I mean, I've had a lot of positive feedback, so yeah. Um, that gives me the uh, inspiration and the drive to keep doing it. So uh, it's thanks to you that I'm still doing it. You know, if I hadn't got any response and told me to shit, I would have just stopped. Uh, another thing I just wanted to go over in this video while I've got the opportunity is I want to start doing some subscriber artwork videos where I show off your guys' stuff um, that you've done using my tutorials. It doesn't necessarily have to be something that I've shown you how to draw. It can be any sort of tattoo style artwork that my subscribers submit to me. So um, a few people have you know, been tagging me on Instagram. Um, I've had emails, um, I've had Facebook messages on my Facebook page. Um, you can message my page directly. You don't have to actually message my personal profile because you know, I prefer to keep that separate. But um, yeah, you can send, there's lots of ways you can send stuff into me and uh, then I'll take a look at it. I'll let you know what I think, give you um, some tips, all that sort of stuff. Or even if you just want to show me stuff, you don't want any advice, just show it to me. Um, and you can submit stuff. Um, for future videos, because like I say, subscribe to videos, so um, just stuff like uh, these images that I've had sent in.
So yeah, keep them coming in. Um, if you don't mind me using them in the videos, make sure you tell me because I can't stick images in my videos unless you actually say you can use this in your video. So make sure you write that in your email or your message or however you send it to me. So I think that about covers it. Um, yeah, stay tuned for some tutorials because I'll be doing some real soon. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for being subscribed to me. And uh, thanks for liking this video because, you know, you're going to go like it, aren't you? Yeah, sweet, nice one. Cheers, guys, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye.